Hello everybody, Falls Ruler here, and um, we're kind of in the same position we were in last time. We're gonna hit the turn button. Oh, we have a character with an unassigned skill. How, how glorious. Probably not him, probably our runesmith. Then who the hell has the unassigned skill? It's not him. Uh, right. Grumbin, Grumbin, no, himself. No. No, it's not him. But, uh, okay. There's no one that has an unassigned skill again. Oh. Uh, there we go. Set him up. Next turn! Yay. I, I don't know why the rebelling there. It's really annoying. Huh, okay. Well... This army, which is really fucking big now, holy shit! Yeah, no. I... Ah. Okay. Um, we're, we're gonna have to, we're, we're, we're gonna have to re reload, re reload the dwarf save. I, I don't care. That was really dumb. And I don't know why it was so immediate, um, I don't know exactly what event was going on that caused that. Uh, but but here's what we're gonna have to do. Uh, yeah, no. But you're you're going this way. Um, wait, did we not do that event? Did we did we forget to do the event? No, that's just that's just what happens when I click on something, right? No, just him. Okay, okay. Um. We probably still want to do Diplomacy with Zifbar. Because obviously... Come, come, kid. Let us feast and drink. Join Confederation? Hi. I accepted our offer. Okay. We're now together, we're now making more money. Um, and on top of that, we're going to make sure... This will take effect starting next turn. I, it's now minus ten. Because of events. Taxes. Events. I don't really understand. But okay. Um... Not not too certain on what's the dealio with that, but we're just gonna have to figure it out. And we did the... No, we didn't do the watch room. Poor Horror's Great Weapons and Quarreler's Great Weapons. Oh, that's nice, so they did add that into the game. Oh. Well, we're definitely building that. 
Takes two turns. Uh, that that couldn't come any fucking faster. In in a very serious way. Yeah, we're going that way. This I I mean I need this this bullshit to stop. It's really grinding my gears. Plus, I mean, we want to be proper, prosperous. We can't be prosperous when you know, we're being fucked around with by fuckanoids. What is your message, Clans Dwarf? Uh, let's do a non-aggression pact. No, we're low. Okay. I don't know why you dislike me, but I mean. You know, do your thing, I guess. Ready. Oh, and now you have no army. Whereas previously you had an army. Okie dokie. Well, shit. We're gonna have to recruit. Uh, one dwarf warrior, apparently. Okay. Because they're expensive, apparently. Next turn. <coughs> I apologize, everyone, for having to save scum. But... See, why don't we use Grumbindor? Grim we should be, considering he's our... our faction lead, right? I don't know. That makes sense to me, at least. Wait, there's only one? Well, it's not bad, but it's not great. Especially since you're all the fucking way over here, and you move like two feet a turn. Uh, can, can I move with the underway? I remember being able to do that. Use underway. Minimum requirement to assume not moved in turn. Traverse underground terrain that would normally be impassable. Immune to attrition. Nearby hostile enemies may intercept this force in the underway. Should the army be intercepted, the retreat will be impossible. If the loss, the battle will be wiped out. Oh, battle initiation disabled. Huh. Actually, can we just stance march you? You, you, you move two feet. I mean, you're a dwarf, you have short legs, but... Come the fuck on, mate. That ain't no excuse. That ain't no excuse at all. Well, we're gonna get that, uh... And now it's at plus 20. Malcontents leaving for the rebellion. How do orcs rebel against dwarves? Especially in the Warhammer fantasy universe. Can, can, can we have a talk about that? I think we need to have a talk about that. Like, discuss how unfucking lore friendly that is. I mean, granted. Dwarves being attacked by orcs? Completely possible. Other such shenanigans? Not completely possible. Just saying. Wait, if I can recruit Bugman's Rangers, why can I not recruit them now? I would love to have Bugman's Rangers. Dwarf Warriors, Miners, Quirlers. It's not an option. 
Would it be would it be an option if I was over here? Hmm. I don't rightfully know. I really do not. Hmm. Hmm. I ain't doing that. Well. Yeah. We're just gonna just gonna sit here. Um when I get that rune lord. And then pop him on over here. Cause I mean a rune lord and a rune smith both together. Probably a little overpowered of a combination. I'm guessing. Just maybe. Green skins on the blood spears. Okay. Um, we're, we're also gonna do uh, that. Because apparently. Uh, the, uh, I, I don't know. Dwar dwarf and goblin bullshit. I realize you're the white dwarf, but you're the slow dwarf. Yeah. I just wanna. I just want to live. Or at least, you know, make it past, like, turn 20. That'd be pretty dope, actually. Like, really dope. Stop that. Yes. that would just make us 11 of 20, and they're already at 14. Of 20, which is really fucking dumb. Just saying. Um. I think we're gonna lose our capital. Some, something, something, I don't know, just in the back of my head it says, we're gonna lose the city. And I'm thinking to myself, yeah, self, you you might be right. Yes, uh, of course I will. The the black venom. I wonder who the black venom are. Good. The despaired Carrig Dromer. Negative growth. Obviously, someone of your sentience is gradually vanishing. On certain nights, whole ghettos or districts are left abandoned for only the clear remaining denizens. It's a triangle assembly dubbed on a nearby gator wall. So... And where is this? Karagdomer. Um... Whoa! Okay. So, um... Vampiric influence, anybody? And, and, and Manfred von Karstein is like a ch taking a, a nice fat shit right in that location. Okay, well, the dick is apparently just, you know, flopping its way towards me at Mach 5. Yeah, they're at 20 now. Because apparently they can recruit six units a fucking turn. Because, you know, reasons. My anger burns bright too, but guess what? We have a 20 fucking unit okay, army to deal with. Do oh. Yep, yeah, yeah, Sterling, I, I'm perfectly okay with that. Because you're not assholes. Hey, 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 hey. Buddy, why, 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 don't, why, don't, why don't you not? Hmm? Why, 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 why don't you not? 
But then I'm going to move so slowly. Hello, friend. Hello, darkness, my old friend. You're, you're gonna have a... Yeah, what's the garrison like? Uh, the garrison is ridiculous. Okay, yeah, no, we're 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 good. Yeah. Okay. Well, you see, that means I kind of want these guys to start thing that way. Go up. Ackendorf. Oh, border princes. Dirty dir. Um. Is it still not able. For, or is it still not available for us to. Barakavar? Honor to your ancestors. No, we can't do that. Um. Hmm. Okay, well, we can't do that. Yeah, we're gonna have to, like, lay some mad wood on these fools, or else there's gonna be a problem. And we're going to somehow have to deal with Manfred von Karstein, because apparently that's a thing. Because, you know, gotta, gotta, gotta love getting, like, absolutely shit stomped by a uh, fucking vampire right in the beginning, because, you know, reasons. Dwarf treasuries. Yeah, I, I like the sound of that idea. How about, how about, how about you don't, bub? I'd like to fight this, but then again, I'd kinda not like to fight this. So, I'm gonna not fight that? Decisive victory. We, we only lost 216. And... We didn't lose the Iron Drakes, which is a very important thing. And we're going to uh, k kill the captives because I'm not stupid. Yes! Objectives. Crush the Uprising. Uprising is, like, utterly shitted on. Grand. Okay, well... Since that's dealt with... Um, and we really do need to deal with Vlad. Although going going north is probably not the, uh, the best option one could have. A oh, Wasmig? I don't even know what a Wasnig is. But okie dokie, friend. Um... Hmm... It seems like he's not an Oakenhammer anymore. Okay, um, hmm, 
Mm. Big decisions. Well, you know what? I really want that. But we're not traipsing him all the way back up there. So, how about I make the orcs kind of start freaking out? Except, um, yeah, no, we're not, we're not in march mode, good. But these guys are in march mode. Which is cool. Okie dokie. No. Don't have a lot else going on. Is they like a good moan? Oh, these grudges are not satisfied. You know. The normal dwarfy drill. Dwarfy, dwarfy, dwarfy drill. I did not realize. See, I would have fought that battle, but, um... I had a feeling that was going to take a very long time, and I, unfortunately, I, I don't have a, um... very long time. Hmm. Uh, since we're about to go, you know, beat the living shit out of some orcs. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds like a pretty solid bet. Okay, next turn. Oh, shit. When you forget to upgrade the Runesmith. Horn of Hearth and Home. Characters or a leadership effective. And standing within it, we'll see about Rune of Shielding. Rune. Runic Seal. Uh, action. Enemy hero. Success chance is modified by an additional minus 10%. Um, invoking the Rune of Shielding, an arcane mark first inscribed in the War of Vengeance brings upon great protection. Reduces the success chance of enemy hero actions against settlements. Hmm. Huh. So, like... Um... I guess we'll do Hearth and Home first. I... Well, I didn't necessarily realize that that was how the runes were going to work. I thought they were going to be cast, just like magic, which is how they should be, but, you know. Beggars can't be choosers, right? Caravan raid. No dwarf folk should be left in such peril. Dwarf Jade Caravan is ring, ringed by goblin wolf riders. A stalemate has developed, but the foe refuses to relent. Such a local affair should be dealt with by the local lord, but your intervention could speed things up. Smash the enemy? I don't see that as being a bad thing to help out my people. That's... that would be, well, actually kind of dumb if that was a bad thing. You guys want to fuck around with the, uh, the gyrocopters? Because I kind of want to fuck around with the gyrocopters, I'm not going to lie. That's like half of the reason why the dwarves are cool, plus we can see what his base runes are. I'd like to see what his base runes are, because they could be rather neat. In all honesty. And if that is the case, then that is just grandiose, indeed.
Yeah. I think the orc uprising thing was a little dumb. But it wasn't bad, per se. And it wasn't good. I I don't know. I'm I'm very I have mixed feelings about it because it could represent dwarves just or not dwarves. It could represent orcs, actually. Let me adjust the mic here for a second. It could represent uh, orcs actually, you know, coming and attacking the dwarves. However, it could, you know, also just represent that they had to put the uprising mechanic in there because reasons. And while I'd like to say, yes, the uprising mechanic is needed, it's not. Empire? Sure. Here... <laughs> Excuse me. Less than... Le less than needed. Not like it's bad. It's just not... Hey, friend. Thank you. I understand why it puts your archers first. I get that. I really do. I don't, however, get that all the time. <laughs> we have to put the fire tricks out and to the left every fucking time. We're gonna move that way, and we're gonna do harassment. <laughs> because these, these are my favorite units. Well, okay. Let's be real. The Iron Dricks are probably my second favorite dwarf unit uh, right now. Actually, I forget if it's that they actually shoot, like, um, volcanic fire. They might actually be shooting, like, superheated mercury? I forget. There, there's lore on that, and I'm gonna have to look it up and then tell you guys next, uh, next episode, but... I'd like to think it's the heated mercury. I could be completely incorrect, but it would be pretty sweet if that was the case. I mean, mercury in itself can poison you in large doses, so just imagine getting blasted with a lot of it. Yay, run away. <laughs> Blast him! I think they could have done better with the cannon sounds on these guys. It sounds like uh, sound bites from uh, Shogun 2 uh, guns at the moment. Like, that sounds like a Shogun 2 gun. Like, not going to... Oh my god, the goblin arrows. We need to get the fuck out of here. Go, go, go! No, don't lag behind. They're gonna shoot you. I need you. I don't even think I could replace you till like halfway through the game. Dowie. And dwarves, really? I mean, in this game, uh, in this um, lore, definitely fought in shield wall a lot. Oof. Oof. Talk about getting shit on, kid.
<laughs> oh, you gotta love it, don't you? It's just blatant ridiculousness at this point. Uh, let, let's. Oh. Doesn't have Jack in the way of uh, doing much. Um. Oh. There's that. I love how they trundle forward with their uh, fire drag cannons and when they lost 10, they lost 204. I'd, I'd think so, considering how just dumb powerful we are. But you know, <laughs> that was fun. Now uh, we're going to occupy it. Regiment of Gob Lobber Grudge Thrower. A Grudge Thrower Rit Rock is unavailable. Uh, when a Grudge is unavailable, live Goblin ammunition is just as good. We're chucking Goblins? Okie dokie! I'm, I'm not gonna hate. I just think that's a little weird. Like, not in a bad way, but just in like a, it, it's, it's kind of weird way. I mean, to me, that's, that's a little strange. Not going to lie. That's just a little bit weird. But... Nothing says it has to be super weird. It's just... Uh, really want to just go deal with these guys, because they're kind of bugging the titties out of me. Oh, why are we taking a trip? Oh. Because it's vampire -y. Places. Garrison detail. One. Skeletal warriors, skeletal warriors, zombies, zombies, and fell bats. And we have... Dwarf Lord, Dwarf Warriors, Dwarf Warriors, Miners, Quarrelers. And this Rock Thrower! Oh, damn! Time for a reckoning. I really want it. Because it's my province and they're like doing shit and... and I'll do it when... This is annoying. C come on, buddy. Don't, don't, don't run away. Just kind of like sit there and, and take it like a bitch. But yeah, no, I need to stop this, this corruption. Because I think it's affecting these lands as well, possibly. I think it's like spreading. I mean, you can see it doing it here. It's doing sort of a similar spooky spooky. It's starting to look like it's going to get spooky spooky. Except it's spooky spooky with s snow on it. So, I mean, who wants spooky spooky with snow? It's just a little crazy. Um, what could we do here? Um, barley field. Or, probably want a trinket maker. Dokkaraz. Uh, Barak Var. Hello, friend. Diplomacy. You wanna... Clan Angrund. Oh, that's cool. Barak Var. Hey. Come, come, kid. Buddy. Let us feast and drink. You wanna join my confederation? Not fucking likely. Okay. That makes me really sad, but... Okie dokie. How can I help? Hmm. Well... Um... Well, I guess that's that for this, uh, this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. We're gonna be moving, uh, Logan, uh, Azrael. 
to Karag Dromar. And then we're using our lord that we acquired when we uh, got Zufbar. He is Kun Granatand. And we're going to use him to fight Nashark. Or Nashrak. However you want to say that. Um. Uh, but uh, in truth, we do need to kind of take out. You know. Oh, shit. Are they. Are they going north? They're trying to. Oh, Waldenhof. So they're going up and fucking around over there. Gotcha. So, legalistically, right now would be the best time to take that. So, in theory, buying another thing of dwarf warriors and another thing of quarrelers is going to bankrupt me, but, you know. We're building money, it's all good, right? 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 No, not really. <laughs> um, let's see what we can do here. Make this more profitable? Yes. Um, make that more profitable? Also, yes. What about here? Can we do anything over here to make ourselves, you know, not in the hole? Um, it doesn't seem we can right now. Uh, well, everybody, uh, Hope you enjoyed the episode, and I'll catch you later.